in this week's Parsha, in the opening of our new Sefer of Bamidbar, Moshe and Aaron are commanded to take a census. Se'u et rosh kol adat b'nei Yisrael l'mishpechotam, levet avotam, b'mispar shemot, kol zachar l'gugulotam. Every single individual, mi ben esrim shana v'mala, kol yotzei tzavah b'Yisrael, tifkedu otam, l'tivotam, ata v'aron. Everyone, every male who is 20 years old and fit to serve. Or as explained to Nativ, who is who is fit to work after a craft and is diligent in his craft. The 20 becomes more diligent. And so, Moshe and Aaron comply, as, as almost always, to a T. They gather everyone, like Hashem commanded, and they counted them. What was the final tally? It seems that Steve points out there's a redundancy. Why Vayu Vayu? So he explains the first Vayu is telling us. The only ones who were included in the census were those that Hashem commanded, were those who were 20 and fit to serve, who were diligent in their craft. Nobody else who is considered a nitpo was added to pad the stats. This is an exact number, which means we're not rounding up here, which is phenomenal because every single one of the Shvatim to the hundreds is rounded out to the nearest hundred, except for God, who's rounded out to the nearest fiftieth. And then it's even telling us they didn't pad the stats, they didn't round up. Personally, I, I can't imagine they would round down. The strength in numbers of Am Yisrael has already been has already been proven in last week's parsha in Bechukosai, where we're where we're promised that five will chase away a hundred of our enemies and one hundred will chase away ten thousand. Rashi points out that's not synonymous math. 20 times versus 100 times. So he explains the strength and numbers of those who do the Torah together. There's no way we're rounding it out, down, and we're not rounding up. So we have a perfect amount of numbers. 603,550 is the exact amount of those individuals. And those 603,550 comprise something much deeper. We know there's a famous, there's a famous drusha, there's a famous acronym of Israel is Yesh Shishim Ribo Otios Latora. There are 600,000, or 600,000, 550,000 letters in a Sefer Torah. What's the correlation between the Otios of the Torah and the census? The Shla Kadosh explains the Otios of the Torah are the Shishim Ribo Neshamos, Hayotos Mi Shishim Ribo Otios of Torah. Each Ot corresponds to a Jewish Neshama. Shiruchnius Hatora Heim Nishmos Yisrael. That the Ruchnius of Torah, the Neshamos of Israel, infuse the Torah with its Ruchnius. In other words, each Jew makes the Torah, completes the Torah. Each Jew has his own role to play in the Torah. Each Jew has his own contribution and chilek in the Torah. The Kedusha Slavi explains. The Pasuk I read before, when Moshe and Aaron complied, Ka'asher tziva Hashem et Moshe vayifkedem bebar Sinai. It should have been written the opposite way. So the Tusha Slavi explains, no, the Neshamos Yisrael are the Guf HaTorah, Nimtza. Therefore, when Moshe was doing the census, in and of itself he learned Torah, counting each individual, looking at each individual and what piece of Torah he has to contribute, taught Moshe Torah. Ka'asher Tziva Hashem and Moshe, reference to Torah, Moshe learned the Torah, by Each Jew was the Torah for him. The Midrash in Bereshis Rabbah goes back to, to a Pasuk in, in Bereshis by Yaakov when he runs away to, to Padan Aram right before he meets Rachel. He's watching all the shepherds and they all gather. They wait, we're waiting for one another. And Yaakov said, you guys are doing, you guys are wasting your, your, your boss's time. And they said, we, we can't, we need, there's, there's a rock on top of the, of the well and we can't move it. We need everybody together to move it. Rabbi Yochanan says this Pasuk, Pater la Besina. Rabbi Yochanan says this Pasuk is talking about Har Sinai. The Be'er is Sinai, from where we got the Aseris Hadibros, in Maimela Torah. The Adarim 
The Shlosha are Kohanim, Levim, Yisraelim. The Evan is the Shechina. Continuing on this note of Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Shimon ben Yehuda, Ish Kfar Ako, Amar Mishum Rabbi Shmuel, Ilu Hayu Yisrael Chaserim Odechad Lo Yim Mekabel Mitzah Torah. If one Jew was missing, if one of those 600,000 was missing, we wouldn't have received the Torah. This is further, this, this point is, is even, is furthered in the Gemara, Baba, in, the Gemara in Bava Basra. Il male Yoshua ben Gamla. If not for Yoshua ben Gamla, nishtakach Torah mi Yisrael. What did Yoshua ben Gamla do? Yoshua ben Gamla set up the modern education system. He saw that we know the Pasuk says, Each father has a duty, a requirement to teach, to be Mechanach his son, to teach his son Torah and swimming. And Rabbi Yeshua ben Gamla saw those who had fathers, they learned Torah. But those who, who were orphans, who were fatherless, didn't learn Torah. He said, it's not just Vilimaratim Otam, it's Vilimaratim Atem. There's no father. We have to take responsibility communally, rabbinically. If not for Yahushua ben Gamla, Nishtakach Torah Yisrael. But the question is, the Marshas's question, don't you mean Nishtakach Torah from those who didn't have fathers? From the orphans? Torah would have still existed in Am Yisrael. So explains Rav Waxman, no. With, with, with the, each person who didn't learn Torah, we all lose out on Torah. Il male. Hayu Yisrael chaserim odechad lo yimekabim etzah Torah. Each Jew has his own individual, unique chilek, unique contribution, unique chiddush to add that even a greater Talmud Chacham would never be able to add. We are all, at this point, fragments of those 600,000 at Sinai. As Rav Machlis was wanting to say, I met you at Har Sinai. We, we were at Har Sinai. We have those fragments of those neshamos, and each one of us has our own unique fragment. There never was like this. There never will be. And that strength in numbers, that full number, is lacking to the point where we say, Manu ve'atru, we, we almost always read Bereshit, uh, Bamidbar, before, before Shavuos. And we call Bamidbar Sefer HaPikudim, where the census only happens at the beginning. Yet, the Torah hinges upon the fact that we have our Shalim number. Rav Machla says, Around Rosh Hashanah time, Uchtov l'chaim tovim kol b'nei b'ritecha. I daven not just for my life, but for everyone. Rav Karlovach said, if you're not alive next year, I don't want to be alive. When we, when we learned Kedoshim, we were told, Mimpnei seva takum vehadarta p'nei zakein. We should be mechabed an, an elder. What's an elder? Says Rashi. Not just any old person, but someone who has chachma, who, who, who learned Torah. Yet, the acronym of Zakain is just Zeshekana. Where's Chachma come in? So Rav Herzik explains in the footnotes of, of Rashi there, explains that Chachma is the acquisition par excellence. Rashi is Chachma Yeres Hashem. Kaddish Baruch Hu created Chachma before everything. And the Chachma is Yeres Shemaim where we fulfill the Torah because the Torah was meant to, to lead lead a Maise. The Torah Tamima, Rav Epstein, explains it's not just an elder person. Anybody who has chokhma, we should be mechabed, we should honor, we should stand up for, we should respect. And not just somebody who has Torah, but somebody who has gone through nisyonos. And somebody who has masim tovim, who gives tzedakah, who is a yari shemayim. Rav Shalom Shodron once was approached by one of his Talmidim who says, I'm not going to be here for the next two weeks. I'm not going to be joining you for Seder for two weeks. And Rav Shodron the Magi had asked, you know, what is it? Are you are you getting married? Are you going on vacation? Someone in your family? No, none of those things. Something bad happened, Chas v'shalom? No. So so what is it? I can't I can't think of any reason why someone will be missing Seder for two weeks. He says, well, it's the World Cup this year, and I'm I'm a huge fan. I'm an avid fan, and I can't miss a game. If Shadron didn't know what the World Cup was or even what soccer was. So he explained, you kick a ball into a net. He says, that takes two weeks? He says, no, but there's a goalie. He says, okay, let's go to the field. We'll, we'll kick the ball in the net, and uh, we'll go home. He says, no, no, the goalie's not going to be there. And the whole point's when the goalie's there. And the Magid says, don't you understand? 
Lima de Torre really counts when the Itzahara there are trying to stop you. And this Talmud came, showed up every day during those two weeks to Seder, and each day he showed up, the Maggid stood up for him. And the rest of the Talmudim followed suit. That's a, that's a Zakin. That's somebody who, who earned his Chalik in Torah. We're coming on a time, coming off the heels of a time, when Rabbi Akiva lost all of his students because they wouldn't be no hey kavod achad l'sheni. It's still an appropriate time as we prepare for Sinai to get together, to increase our strength in numbers exponentially, to recognize that the other has a contribution to be mashlim, my life, that a Kaddish Baruch who put the other in front of me to enhance my life, whether I've failed in that Nisayon. Personally, I fail a lot when it comes to, let's say, driving. Louis C.K. is very, uh, who is a world-class cynic and, com and, and comedian, he says a lot of times when you're driving, you're driving a weapon, and it's at times we can be our most aggravated and mean and atrocious, and it's the time when we need to be most compassionate and careful. We need to recognize that others are in this world to be mashlim us, and we're in this world to be mashlim them. And the way we get the kavod that we feel we deserve is we give it to them, is we look at them as those special individual souls who have something to contribute to the world, and without them, we would be nowhere. I'm rambling because... I'm off script and I'm not really sure what to say anymore. You hear it from the Avinu Shemayim that we should recognize the beauty of each individual and enhance our Kabbalah Satora this upcoming Shavuos, the Shabbos.